In this example, we have the domain of f of x equals 4x plus 1 is 1, 2, 3, 4. What is the range? So when I read this problem, I need to identify domain as my x values. That means these are my x values. And the question is asking to find the range. Why? So if I have my function, I know what each x value is, I'm gonna plug in each x value individually to find my range. So to do that, we can set up a table. Our x values, our process, which is our function, f of x equals 4x plus one. And then last, we'll have our range. So let's start with one. When x is 1, I'm going to plug in 1 to this equation and find out what the range is. Why? So f of 1 equals 4 times 1 plus 1. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So again, this is my function notation. I'm not multiplying f and 1. I'm just plugging in. I'm replacing x with 1. And I will do that with every single value here for the domain. Now, I will do the same thing for two. So when I have two for x, I have f of two equals four. Instead of one, I'm gonna plug in a two now. Parentheses two plus one. Four times two is eight plus one is nine. I will go ahead and do this again for three. Three f of 3 equals 4 times 3 plus 1. And notice these are my x values and they're changing as I input my x value. So 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1 is 13. And then I will continue until I've input all of my x values. My last x value is 4. So f of 4 equals 4 times 4 plus 1. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 is 17. So here, to answer my question, what is the range? These are my range va values, so I will write R. And again, you write the range in order from least to greatest. 5, 9, 13, and 17. There is my range. And this is just showing my work using a table. If you feel comfortable showing your work in another um, way you can, but a table is easiest to set it up.